Matt, the end of a, a difficult week today and a disappointing result against, against Wimbledon. How did you see the game? I saw the game uh, very even first half. They had a couple of chances early on. We really grew into the half and we certainly had a few moments as well. I thought, uh, as well. I thought it was a very even first half. Uh, we had the, the strong wind that was here today uh, in the first half. Second half, I thought we started really well. Uh, I thought we had a, a couple of moments. Uh, Josh Coley hitting the post. Uh, and in a derby game, uh, with the atmosphere and, and uh, what's at stake. The first goal is massive in, in any game, but certainly today it was. Um, but unfortunately, uh, to go one behind from a, a great set-piece delivery and, and a good header, and we find ourselves one down from a, from a free kick. Uh, and we, we huffed and puffed a little bit, and uh, two goals in the last 10 minutes took the game away from us, unfortunately. And I, I was a little bit disappointed with literally a minute after they scored their first that we can capitalise from a great ball and, and uh, first contact in their box and it gets cleared off the line. So, uh, listen, I'm not going to hide away from a very disappointing afternoon and a disappointing uh, result, but I know exactly where we are after four league games of, of where I am with the squad, with individuals and uh, what I feel I need to, one, bring in and two, work on. And uh, no, it's very clear for me where I'm at. And we're, we're standing here now and it, we can notice the wind playing into it in the second half must have been sort of quite a significant factor. Yeah, it, 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 with and without the wind you do have to play a slight, slightly different way and and uh, downhill, downwind, a lot of our, our balls were going through to the goalkeeper and just like they were second half. Um, but we, we tried, tried to get on the ball but it was a very ferocious game and a quick, quick tempo and um, yeah, it was hard to try and get your, your foot on the ball and, and, and try and get the ball down, which I thought we, we lacked a, 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 on quite a few occasions. But as I say, the first goal was key and, and unfortunately we didn't get it. And unfortunately it came just after they'd hit the bar twice and we thought we might have, might have escaped that, but never really, never really managed to clear our lines and consider the free kick. No, exactly. Um, exactly that. And then we gave down, downhill, downwind an opportunity with Tilly's quality to whip a great ball in. And Disappointing to lose Omar Shomi before half time today. Is that a recurrence of what happened earlier? No, he's early unwell actually. Oh, right. He's unwell, so uh, so yeah, it wasn't a, an injury, it was more an illness. And at least able to bring Lewis John on, but he didn't look too too happy at the end. He went down again, um, just holding his knee. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to Louis yet, yet there. And, and I, th I think one of the, the biggest things for me is, is quite a few players, through no fault of, of us maybe signing them late and then not being with us from the start of pre-season, or players being injured through pre-season. We've played five games in 14 days and, and I just feel uh, yeah, quite a few with a lack of pre-season. It probably caught up a little bit, a little bit with them, certainly with uh, us in the second half. So uh, it'd be nice to have a, a free midweek just to regroup and get ourselves together before we have to go three games in seven days again. I was going to say that off, off the pitch it's felt fairly intense over the last couple of weeks. I can't imagine what it's been like, what it's no. been like on the pitch and you, you yeah. won't, won't be disappointed there's no midweek game this week. No, exactly, and not being out of freshen up in certain areas and players playing with little knocks and niggles of, of what they've uh, bodies have had to go through in the last 14 days so um, certainly not an excuse um, for why we've lost the game but I, I do know that that's a factor that we need to uh, get right and, and recover well over the next uh, week leading into Newport away um, and then yeah seeing if I can add one or two more into the squad uh, and then obviously with our, with our new team our new squad just uh, the things I know we need to work on. And one plus today got Ryan Jackson onto the pitch um, for the first time in, in league good to see him good to see him come on and saw his, saw his one long throw that, that came in reminder of his, his throw right there yeah and it's been really frustrating Jacko he's probably one of the guys I'm talking about who's only played 45 minutes since in pre-season since he's come here and now we're in our, our fifth game of the season so um, it'll be a good acquisition to us and we just need to get him as well as a, a few others right up and running uh, fitness wise well, we wish you a good, a good week getting getting really fit and uh, talk to you before the, the game down at Newport next Saturday but thanks for talking to us Matt no cheers. problem cheers Tony